Welcome to a web development project where we're going to create this interactive map. We're going to have a map of a school and on this map we'll have different locations that we can select by different categories. So you can see if I choose classes you can see a few different places on the map and secrets of mine show others. The first thing we'll have to do is go find a picture of your school. So let's go into Google Maps and search for your school. So I'm going to search for Westview High School where I teach and we will take a look here in Avondale, Arizona. Now I want to have a Earth view so I'm going to the menu and I'm going to choose Earth from Google Maps and then I will see a different view that shows the buildings. Now if you like the top-down version you can use that or I'm going to select the 3D version so we get a tilted view and we can see all the buildings and where we walk. So to use this in our program center as much of the school as you can and use your screen capture key. Now on Windows there'll be a print screen button on your keyboard. On the Macintosh it's a little more complicated. You press shift, control, command, three and you'll hear a picture take. Now that has copied the screen to the clipboard. Next you need an image editor. So Photoshop works for me. If you have a different one you can use yours. Let's create a new image Notice the width and the height, the, the size of the screen. Click OK. Go to Edit and choose Paste. And you'll have a screen capture on your editor. Now it's time to crop out the pieces we don't need. So let's go to the rectangular tool and we'll select everything that does not include the menus. Something about like that. We'll go to Image and choose Crop. You may wish to make modifications if you're a Photoshop editor. I'm going to change the contrast a little bit and then save it for web. Now the size of your picture is important here. I want to resize my picture to be about 900 pixels wide. That will be comfortable on most web pages. I'm going to choose a JPEG setting and the quality about 70 percent and choose save. Let's give it a name. Let's call it schoolmap.jpg. Now we're ready to start building our HTML file. The first thing we need to do is open up a text editor. You can see that I'm using this program called Sublime Text. You could use Notepad++ or other programs like Text Wrangler. They're all doing the same thing. They're formatting HTML. First of all, we have to build our document. And so these are the usual starting blocks that all websites use. Let's save our document. And let's name it index.html. Once you save your document, you will see that the text formatting begins to change colors. This is perfect, so it helps us in our editing. The first thing we're going to do is insert a place where we can put this map. So I'm going to create a div and I'm going to give it an ID called map container and we'll do a close on the div. The second part of a web page is our CSS file. So let's start a new file and we will give this the name of CSS. So let's save it and we'll call it schoolmap.css. These two files will work together. The CSS file will define what the colors and layout of everything is. The index.html file will contain the actual text. Now we want to be able to link these two together. So up in the header, we're going to include something called a link document. So copy this. We have link rel of style sheet. The type is a CSS document and then we give it the name of our map. So school underscore map CSS is what this file is named. So we'll save the document. Now the two are linked together. What I'd like to do first is put the map that we just created inside of this div. Notice the map container is the ID. So in the CSS file we will put ID or the pound sign map container and we will format it. The first thing we need to do is to see if we can get the background image to show up. 
So we'll type background hyphen image. And sure enough, that is one of the suggestions. We have to tell it what file we used. So what was the file name that we created? If I look back at my files here, I see that schoolmap.jpg was my map. So I'll use schoolmap.jpg. Okay, so let's put these four different properties in for our map container. We have the background image URL. It shows to the file that we just created. We're going to position this absolutely so it can be located in an XY grid. We're going to specify the width as 900 pixels and the height as 100% of the window. So let's see what this looks like when we view it. So I'll go find index HTML and double click it. There is our background image. Now you can see that the background image is actually repeating. So we have an image up here and then once again at the bottom. So let's change one more CSS property. Let's go to background hyphen and we're looking for repeat. Here it is, background repeat. And we're going to say no repeat is what we want. So let's save that and let's check to see what it looks like. Okay, so now I have my background, my image, it's ready to go. I'm just going to do one more nice feature. I'm going to do the corner radius. And let's make that five pixels and save it. And so now you can see the edges have a slight curve to them. 